March brings a lot of exciting things like March Madness, the start of spring and warmer weather. People tend to get out to do more, but that can also have some negative consequences when it comes to money. So the big question is, how can you keep an eye on your money this March or better yet, actually make some more of it? Steve Siebold is a certified financial educator and author of the book, How Money Works. Stop being a sucker. I'm already sucked into the book with the title. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning, Lauren. All right, so you have some big tips for us because this is the time of year also that people are planning trips, uh, those spring break trips, which that money goes very, very quickly, we know, especially even planning for summer vacations. So uh, you have this thing called Dry March, and we're not talking about alcohol, right? Exactly. It's sort of, sort of a, akin to the, the, the Dry January. Dry March is looking at every expense that you, that you, actually, uh, that you actually have and that you make and just spending money on things you have to spend money on and really cutting back as much as you possibly can. That includes, I know, eating out because I'm really bad about that. Our family is going to the grocery store every week. But you also say make your money work for you. What does that mean exactly? Well, you want to invest your money. You want to do what wealthy people do, which is which is make their money work for them. They treat money like little employees that go out and work 24-7 for them, never take a break, never take vacations, never ask for time off. And uh, you want to make your money work for you, and you can get into simple investments uh, to contact a financial professional and get them to help you do that. Are there simple investments um, that you would maybe recommend for people starting off? Or, again, would you just kind of, was that based on your lifestyle? I know that's different for everybody. Yeah, it's different to make wholesale, uh, to give wholesale financial yeah. advice. That's why you want to work with a financial pro. We always say don't try to hike the mountain alone <laughs> because it's, it's dangerous up there. Yeah. But if you get with a financial professional, they can kind of give you the guidance that you need specifically for your case. There you go. Make money on spring cleaning. Uh, what, is, what does that mean? Have a garage sale? <laughs> Absolutely. If, if Yeah, you can have a garage sale or you can clean out your closets, clean out your attic, your, yeah. your basement, all these things that we purchase over the years, old computers, old radios, old, you know, everything, uh, phones that you can sell online, Facebook Marketplace or eBay or any of these, uh, these online providers. I mean, billions of dollars go through those channels every year and why not take advantage of it? There you go. We only have about 45 seconds, but I want to get to this last one, comparison shopping. Uh, a lot of us like to look for good deals, but what's the best way to do that? Yeah, I mean, go online, do your research. I mean, you can find good deals and look for off brands. You know, Madison Avenue is not our friend. They're trying to sell us overpriced goods and it works very well. But go on, do your research, comparison shop, and you might be surprised at how much money you can actually save. Yeah, and your fifth tip was tax refund. Make sure you save that when you can. We know a lot of people like to go out when they get that big chunk of money and spend it. So make sure you save that. Uh, we are having to wrap, but real quick, where can we go for more information? You can go to HowMoneyWorks.com to find out more about the book or just purchase it on Amazon. There you go. Thank you so much. We appreciate you taking the time, Steve. Thanks, Lauren. We are back with another check of your forecasts and those headlines coming up. Just